set up really to try and find an, uh, a way of creating an event around a film so rather than just seeing a film in a cinema taking the cinema out of the cinema and getting it seen in an environment which is actually linked to the film it's really a kind of I guess the way that live music has really grown and become so hugely popular I really like the idea of live cinema and the idea that you can actually interact with an environment and become part of the film and literally walk through the film. Paramount came to us and, 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 and wanted to do something very different and they'd heard about Secret Cinema. They wanted to do something special with this film because it totally fits the idea of future cinema. I put together some ideas for, for Paramount and I made the ideas as big as possible, as ambitious as possible and then I spoke to my uh, finance guy and asked him if he could try and find enough money and, and the idea here is that from the very start, from London Bridge, we had characters around London Bridge um, interacting with people arriving to the event. We created a whole New York street, so we had all the archways, and we put loads of New York shop fronts. There we had lots of vehicles, so all the parked cars were, were vehicles from, uh, the, from New York at that time. We had um, uh, a blue Dr. Manhattan walking down, and uh, we decided to go really big, and we managed to get a tank uh, where the audience were waiting, uh, and they suddenly had this tank with the comedians making a cigar on the top. Uh, arriving outside the gate and it was quite it was quite a moment yeah and no, I think it was really special to have Dave Gibbons and I think a lot of uh, a lot of the people who came tonight were really hardcore Watchmen fans and for them it was like a dream come true well I've now seen the movie five times I've seen the rough cut I've been to a couple of premieres a press screening and actually only yesterday when I was in Los Angeles I, I did a DVD commentary for the director's cut and I'm still thrilled I'm still you know, people say about the comic book, the, the graphic novel, that you, you read it once for the story, then you read it again to get the background stuff, then you read it again. I mean, I know people who read it once or twice a year, and certainly my feeling about the movie is that, that it's rich enough and dense enough. You know, even after five viewings, I'm still seeing new things. I'm still getting new uh, kind of reverberations and, and, and echoes that, that, that run throughout it. It's been called unfilmable. I, I think it's been filmed exceptionally well. So much of my favourite stuff is in there. It's so true to the the kind of compositions and the, the look that, that I gave it. So much of Alan's wonderful dialogue and, and scenes are, are, are in there. Our society's only protection. From what? Are you kidding me? From themselves. Um, I think fans will be thrilled by it and certainly the people I know who aren't fans have found it an amazing cinematic experience. Well theatre is really uh, for us the link to creating this environment and I think every event we do we, we're getting a little bit more closer to what the dream is really and, and, and the dream is really that you would arrive uh, in a street and the whole street would be dressed in the period of the film. Beautiful thing! Get your face on TV! We're looking to try and do a tour each month. There'll be one in London and one in another city. Um, we really want to take it further and we've had lots of people wanting to do it in different cities, but we don't want to do it until we know we can mirror, create the same experience in each different city. Um, but we want to also feel like people don't know which city it's going to be. I love cinema and I love cinema in its current state, in every state, but I feel that this could be something interesting. It could be something else. It could be another way of watching films.